Welcome to Dial Headlines. I'm Helen now. Thank you for joining us. Although it has been more than a month since Nepal was rocked by strong quakes, many are still taking shelter in 10 communities. Looking to return their lives to normal, many quake survivors have begun to rebuild their damaged homes. However, as many buildings in the country are considered historic monuments, residents cannot rebuild without getting government approval. On the other hand, to help those with permits to rebuild their homes, the government has reinforced a policy to to make sure that prices for construction materials do not increase. Today, we're at a hardware store in Bhaktapur. In the wake of the earthquakes, the need for building supplies has increased dramatically. Right now, we can see that many workers are busily moving iron bars. We want to know if the price of building materials has increased due to the disaster. The result came as a bit of a surprise. This, this is iron pipe per piece rate. 1050 and GCI rate 370. Due to the recent quakes, the demand for iron bars and zinc sheets has increased significantly. However, instead of seeing a price rise, the cost of zinc sheet is actually 50 rupees cheaper than before. I come here to know about the rates. The rate is going low, so we are quite much satisfied with the rate. See, Rish Giri is here to gather a price list for all the building materials. As the organization he works for plans on distributing building supplies to quick survivors. Uh, it's a government policy because the country is uh, totally depressed now. So government uh, makes this policy to uh, make the rate low. 320 rupees less before 250. In the wake of the tragedy, many hardware store owners like Manjil have decided to put their profit aside as they know the most important task now is to help their fellow countrymen return their lives to normal as soon as possible. This morning it rained, which means monsoon season has arrived. Over here, we can see many construction workers working to demolish damaged buildings. However, in Nepal, quick survivors cannot take down or rebuild their homes without government approval. After receiving permission from the government, this family mobilized to demolish their damaged home. Suddenly fall, this will be injured, so we didn't want that, so we destroyed our house ourselves. Currently, 31-year-old Ram Sunder Koju and his family live in the tent community with his uncle's family. With that, the means to pay for workers to take down their damaged homes, they can only do so by themselves. Right now, the city of Bakta Port is like a massive construction site. Quake survivors put their lives at risk while trying to rebuild their homes. I need to keep these bricks because I'll be using them again when rebuilding my home. Meanwhile, at the Bhaktapur City Hall, quake survivors has flooded the buildings to apply for reconstruction permits. In order to receive an approval, quake survivors need to provide proof of land ownership, identification documents, and pictures that show property damaged. After we receive documents from quake survivors, we will give them an ID. After a week or so, they will receive their permit. Currently, the Nepalese government has yet to come up with a compensation plan. Thus, quick victims can only rely on themselves on the road to recovery.